Hey everyone, this is Strand from ExtremeRigs.net and I'm here today to talk to you about the new reservoir from EK. Um, EK have been making reservoirs for a while, so this is not a new product. It's very much a refinement of the old. So to compare, we actually have the old edition too. So on your right, we have the old EK X2 reservoir. This is the 400 millimeter edition and the new X3 400 millimeter edition. And these are both the basic model right here. Um, and so let me bring them up to you so you can see. So this is what you're used to right here. You can see the um, base with three ports and you can see there's also a tube in there inside. And then the top is very basic, just a single fill port. We'll go over the advance in a second. The new X3 comes with a anti-cyclone, which the um, old X2 didn't. You can see it's see-through and kind of nice. Um, and the base does have more ports now. It has two uh, flush-mounted ports here um, and two ports on the side here that have been recessed into the cylinder. You can see right there. Um, these are optional. Um, port extenders which come with the reservoir. Um, I fitted them here just so you can see it. These are useful if you want to come straight out into a 90 degree fitting. You don't have to use them. Um, and then there's the logo which matches the new EK CSQ style. Um, and then there's one more port here. So uh, with the X3 the basic now has five ports on the bottom versus three on the old. However, the top still only has one. If you do want more ports, you will need the advanced. And I believe the X3 advanced on the other end would get, I think it's either seven or eight ports. Uh, it's quite a lot. It definitely has three on this side, because I know you can put three LEDs lighting up the tube and some additional ones on the side of it. So the advanced has a lot of options um, for a lot of people. Really the basic is pretty much all I need. So let's go over some of the uh, uh, other design changes. Things that haven't changed, those are easy. The clamps, you can see the two clamps here. One is from the X3, one is from the X2. They are identical, nothing has changed in the clamping system. Uh, one thing that has changed, EK now include a uh, little filter mesh. That is new. Uh, so, so that was the basic comparison between the two basics. I don't have an advanced X3 to show you. Um, however, I do have the advanced X2 version. And in, in the advanced, basically what you're doing is taking out the single port top, like so. And what you get instead is a kind of multi-function port. Um, so it comes with, you can see there's, there's two holes there, and then three on, on the side. So you get five on that, uh, and you add that to the existing three you have on the bottom. So a total of eight ports on the old X2. And you can see right now we have the anti-cyclone uh, option on there. Um, and you can take that out, and there's a, a little filler piece in here. And this can be mounted in various ways to configure the port slightly differently. But what that also lets you do, and normally you'd screw that down, but you can also add these tubes in here, which just screw into that. And so that gives you a few more options as well. Now I believe the basic comes with one tube, um, and then the advanced comes with three. Um, so if you do like lots of extra tubes in your reservoir, um, then that's something to bear in mind. You can't fit the anti-cyclone and the tubes at the same time. Um, one thing that did change with the anti-cyclone on the X3 is that it's no longer screwed down. On the X2 you have the option to screw it down. Here you can see it just pops right out and there is a little, um, let's see if I can, it's a little notch 
that goes into the base here. You can't really see in this light. But basically, that stops it from spinning. However, it is a little loose. And when the reservoir arrived, this was actually already mounted inside here. And it had fallen out, so it was just rattling around inside the reservoir, which was not ideal. One of the other changes um, is the fact that the cylinder tubes now tap on a different side. What I mean by that is if you take the two tubes, you'll see on the X2, the threads, the threads are on the inside there. That's the X2. On the X3, threads are on the outside. And I think that's better because that means you're always compressing the acrylic rather than expanding it. And any kind of arch structure is always stronger in compression than it is in, you know, in, in, in a being stretched kind of way. So that will help hopefully reduce any kind of cracking issues or anything like that. You can see that the acrylic itself, there is just a tiny bit of difference. And when you add in the extra height difference of the two tops and the two bottoms, See if we can see that. Yeah, you can see there's a bit of a difference. The total height difference becomes um, just a little bit bigger. And this won't be a problem for most people. Um, but for some, for those builders out there who are used to using a specific size reservoir in a specific case, and if you think you're just going to buy the X3 and it will still fit in that location, you may have to get a smaller size because once you put all this stuff on it's a good 15 to 20 millimeters taller and that's not a big deal on the 400 millimeter reservoir because it's so big anyway proportionally proportionally it's a very small difference you can see maybe as much as an inch bring those a little closer maybe about as, as much as an inch there um, but on the smaller reservoirs, like the 110 millimeter, that's going to be a much bigger difference proportionally. And so if, if you were kind of tight in your case with the X2, the X3 is going to be a little harder. So that's about it for the, um, the reservoirs. Um, the feel is, um, I would say actually, um, at least up to EK's normal good reservoir standards. I'm a big fan of their um, basic reservoirs. They're affordable. Um, they're of decent quality. Um, and I have to say, I do think it's, it's actually improved just a little. Um, I like the thought they put into it. With these ports now being flush. If you see the old one, see there's a, it's, it's recessed all the way around. Um, and although the metal ends up flush with the base, well, almost, it's, it's actually sticking out a little just a tiny bit. Having it look like that is a nice touch. And, you know, you need to kind of make sure you kind of hit up, tick all those boxes um, these days when there's so many different cylinder reservoirs. One more thing to take note on the reservoirs, um, the tube itself is still plastic. I'm not sure the exact plastic it is. I imagine it's exactly the same stuff as the X2. Um, Aqua Computer have come out with glass cylinders now, um, and so if you do want something that should be a bit more longer lasting, then definitely consider Aqua Computer. However, they do not do the 400 millimeter size. The largest they do is 250. So if you're like me and you like the largest reservoir because it gives you a lot of water and it gives you a lot of kind of ease in bleeding the system, because there's so much room for the bubbles to come up and not get sick sucked back into the pump and if you have the space in the case for it or you have an external um, mount then I would definitely go I always tell people go with the biggest reservoir you can fit um, I'm not a fan of small reservoirs I'm not a fan of bay reservoirs um, the bigger cylinder will always give you less issues in the long run so um, that's basically it for the preview um, and I'll be doing a follow-up 
in probably a few months time after I've been using the X3 just in case there are any other issues I've seen with it. So that's it from me and uh, don't forget to follow me at facebook.com slash extremerigs